I'm not going to keep y'all too late because I want y'all to go to sleep to my voice. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the last thing you see tonight. Okay? All this. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all tell me tomorrow what kind of dreams you had about me, all right? I want to give y'all a piece of my crazy brain. Just a piece. I'm going to try not to cuss. So if I cuss, then act like you didn't hear it. Okay? That's all I can say. <laughs> You're a big girl. You can take it. Oh, okay, House of Blooms. But I might have some grandmas on here. I don't know. I don't know people ages and stuff. They got virgin ears. So in the name of Jesus, I, I, I'm I a try. Because I cuss like a sailor. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know. I know some of y'all have attention deficit because I told y'all to go public with your subscriptions on YouTube. And you didn't do it. Okay, I know you didn't do it. My subscribers have went up a little bit, but I cannot see you, which means that you didn't do it. Okay, when you go on YouTube, they automatically set it as private so we can't see you in case, I don't know, you're perverts or something. I don't, I don't know, pedophiles. But none of y'all are pedophiles. So I'm going to need y'all to go in there, go to settings. Okay, Franklin will set it next. I'm going to give them homework. Franklin will tell you what to do next because I taught him what to do. So set it to public. And guess what? Everybody you're subscribed to, you will have to unsubscribe from them and resubscribe. Black Link. Hey, boo boo. I know you cuss. Hey, so I know you, I know you're not sensitive to words at all. Cause when I heard you, I said, I said, oh, he from the streets. I said, where are you from? He was like, I'm in Georgia. He said, but I'm from New York. I said, I can hear that accent. I have tutorials um, for 19 year olds and up. Because some of us, we need help, Black Link. We need help. Let me tell y'all what happened with Black Link the other day. And I was laughing, but I was, you know what I'm saying? If it was anybody else, I'd probably been like, this idiot. But I was laughing. Okay, I shared a toy drive from my girl, Sakari Spirits. I shared a toy drive. And I said, hey, y'all, if y'all know anybody in Atlanta, just pass this forward to people in Atlanta, da, 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 Little did I know Black Link was down there. So Black Link was like, can you get permission from her to share this on Instagram? Now, she posted on Instagram to be shared. So I don't know what he thinks Instagram is for. It's a sharing network of pictures. So he wanted me to get official permission, have her DM him saying, you have permission to share this flyer on Instagram. I said, Black Link. Is you crazy? What's wrong with you? I don't need to give permission for somebody that posted something to a public platform that's meant to share pictures. Like even my daughter told me that. I thought it was stupid. That's why I didn't get Instagram. Because I said, what is it for? She said, oh, we share pictures. Okay, I found that out in like 2016. Black Link talking about get permission to share these pictures. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, Black Link. I can't with you. I can't. Okay, so let me tell y'all for all the old people like Black Link, because I don't know if y'all ever seen him with his hat off. He scared the, <laughs> the mess out of me the other day. You ever seen the old man where it's like static, clean hair? You ever seen that? Yes, that's Black Link with his hat off. When his hat on, looked like a straight G. He, I'm telling you, he looked like a straight G. But with his hat off, you like, what? <sighs> Do you have a wheel? Do you have a wheel in place? I need you to get a wheel because... I didn't know you was that old. I mean, his hair tell his age, but not anything else. You know what I'm saying? Cool peoples, love him, love him, love him. Talking about Black Link look like Huey from Boondocks. No, he more like Uncle Ruckus. He more like Uncle Ruckus. Don't do that. Don't. Huey's young. He's young. But I know you talk about his hair, but Huey's young boy. Put Huey's hair on Uncle Ruckus. That is what Black Link look like with his hat off. I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying, okay. I'm going to talk about you, okay? But it's just love. It's just how I am. It's how I break ice with people. That's just how I do. But I found out when you're sexy like this, they'll say that you're a butthole and you're stuck up and you're a wallflower. So I come off a little differently and I'm kind of all in your face and your grill and I'll tell you to suck my, yeah, all that. The first few, the few seconds I meet you. Okay. Too sexy, sis. Too sexy. Too much sauce. Oh, <laughs> you must have seen my video. You must have seen me in them black up apparel pants. Okay. Because I was chugging all the boys in the yard with them on. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So I want to give y'all a little tidlings.
on my financial advice. All right. Financial advice. I was telling podcast AOTC, look, what we want to do is to make our money, make money. So we need to put it in places where it's making money while we sleep, while we awake, while everything. So I teach people how to change their day to day life. That's it. It's you, you keep doing what you're doing, but do it differently. Find a credit card that gives you cash back. Cause I don't know about them frequent flyer miles and all that other stuff. I don't frequent fly nowhere. Okay. Unless there's a chair pushing me through the airport, I'm not going nowhere. So I'll tell you about that later, but get a credit card that gets cash back reward points. Every single bill that allows you to pay with a credit card, set it up to pay with a credit card that has the cash back reward points on it. Set up that credit card to pay statement balance in full every month. So all your bills, follow me now, all your bills is going to this credit card. You pay your bills and they give you cash back. Did you really pay the full amount of your bills? No, you did not. I got a 2% cash back credit card from Pentagon Federal Credit Union. If my bill is $100 and I got 2% cash back, did I actually pay $100 to them? No. They paid $100 and then the credit card company gave me 2% cash back. So this only works if you pay your, your credit card statement in full every month. That is a tidbit of what I give on my financial pay. Make your money work for you. You don't work for your money. They get scared if we get paid. Oh, no, 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 no. See, we're going to beat them at their own game. Angelique. Bounce that money. What What strip club? It, it, Black Mountain TV. Oh, my gosh, Franklin. Get out the strip club. He said bounce that money. See, some of the stuff in UK don't translate to America. So I don't know what bounce that money means. But to me, that means you bounce it off a stripper's butt. That's what it means to me. I don't know what that means. Um, S D licious. I don't even want to know what licious stand for. Okay. I hope you are a bakery and it means you you something tastes delicious other than yourself. Oh, she is exceptional chef from the UK. Oh, she's a chef from the UK. Okay, I'm glad that that's what I'm talking about, licious. That's what I was talking about. I knew you wasn't talking about that. Yeah, I knew you wasn't talking about your body parts was delicious. You know that your new nickname is Lish. You remember in the um the comedy show with uh, Steve Harvey and and Cedric the Entertainer, and he said, "I wish I would call call a grown man delicious." I ain't calling no grown man delicious. Delicious, come here. I know Franklin nostrils. You seen his nostrils? Looking like the Lion King. I know his nostrils can smell everything. You heard me? He know what licious cupcakes smell like. You know what I'm talking about? Send me, DM me a picture of you, licious, because I want to see this. And you better not have no cream all over you talking about this is my, this is what I do. Don't put no strawberries and stuff on yourself and send it to me. Don't do that. I'm not ready. I'm telling you right now, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for all that licious. Yes, licious is her new name. Do not call her nothing but licious. I don't care if y'all know her real name. Her her name could be Diana. Her name is Licious from here on out. Keys of comedy. That's what it is. Angelique, no. She, she's a pervert. What, playful case. What have I missed? Girl, you missed everything. What you mean? You just got here? What was you, in the bathroom? Tell me. Tell me where you was at right now. Was you? If you wasn't getting some, then tell me where you was at. If you won't get in some, then you you out of pocket. You out of order. I started off with comedy because people said I was naturally funny and I've been funny my whole life. So I just started doing it because I don't have a job. Now, just because I don't have a job doesn't mean Franklin Ursley can give me homework. Absolutely not. Though they have. Okay. I appreciate my brother and sister and love them. Love them to death. I have a wealth of knowledge, especially for Americans here. So I'm glad that Franklin and Ursula Blackmail TV has linked us together with giving us issues in Africa. Also, we've been talking behind the scenes and I love it, you know, because we need to know what our sister brother country is going on and how can we help each other? So I love the love. I love that I can bring American stuff to them. They can tell me what's going on there in UK and in Africa. So I love that for real. I, I really do because I want to help, but we both got people being murdered. So right now we need to stand up, be strong. So in my page, 
I do have a page, a playlist called My Truth. And My Truth lists some things that Americans can do that blackmail, I mean, black link. Me and him was talking and I said, baby, I already got it. I already got the congressional letter written for you. I need you to write Congress. I need you to flood it with everybody you can. I already got it done for you. He said, whoa, I, yeah, I got that. I'm on it. So I got a my truth that I talk about society and the stuff that we can do, the actions we can take. I have sent out emails to people with congressional letters. So if I didn't send you one, please email me, shotpim 74 at gmail.com. I am shotpim 74 no matter if it's TikTok, Twitter, wherever it is, that's where I'm at. That, that, that's me all day. So send it to me. Then I have the financial playlist because so many people want to know how did I get to where I was at? Okay. I'm completely disabled. So I do not work the military doctor one year, one year before I could retire. My 19 year mark misdiagnosed me and permanently disabled me for life. So they got to pay me. Okay. But in the meantime, I had discipline. There is no key get rich screen, uh, uh, scheme. I had discipline. Discipline is the key to everything. Discipline is to get your, your business started, your money in place, and to leave a legacy for your children. So what I want us to do, I want us all to win. That's why I put it on YouTube. My cousin, I ain't going to lie to you, he said I was going to get shot. He said, the government going to kill you if they find out how to beat the system and get that money, they going to kill you. Please. From financial information to society issues to tutorials to help you with that dumb TikTok, um, to comedy, my comedy. Let me tell you, so many people will call me up and say, you know, just say hi or whatever, but I'll end up talking to them and they'll start laughing. They say, you know what? I was having a bad day. And I knew if I called you that you would make me laugh. I, I, I thought that was disrespectful because that was using me as their personal comedian. And they ain't pay me not one penny. Okay? I brightened they day. Did I look like I was trying to brighten they day? I did. I did. I did. So I said, my extended family have been getting this forever. So I said, you know what? There are people out here just like me where I go through bouts of depression. I go through bouts of happiness. I go through this. And I need them to know that you're not alone. And that maybe my comedy will bring you back from the edge because I am sharing with you details that are TMI situations. I even got a, a, a video about boo-boo and it's called T, TMI. I boo-booed, I did. And the boo-boo wasn't the right color. You know how you wipe your boo-boo and then you look at the toilet paper. I did it. You do it too. You do look at the toilet paper because if you don't look at the toilet paper, you going around with itchy booty and you wondering why? Because you left some boo-boo back there. Well, I ain't telling you nothing else. Go watch TMI. It was a real, real life situation, but I wanted people to hear that they wasn't alone and that maybe if they were having a bad day, I can bring them back. I can bring them back from the edge. I can make them laugh when they felt like crying. And that's how it came about to share that with y'all. So um, don't jump to the sex section like Black Male TV did. Ursula and Franklin went straight to the sex section, then talking about it was hilarious. You better... Y'all have enough sex. Y'all got three kids. Didn't she look pregnant again? Ursula looked pregnant again. She got three kids. Stop playing with me. I love it, though. Love you, baby. Y'all y'all doing a lot of love here. What y'all doing? Y'all do that menage a trois stuff? What y'all doing? House of Blooms and stuff. If I have anything to do with it, I want us to reach back in our community for the people that can reach back. Fine. I have two sons that are not biologically mine and they have their own mother and father in their lives, but I'm a different type of mom. I taught them about financial responsibility. I, I helped with a roof over their head. I helped with their education. I could tutor them and their parents couldn't give them that. So I gave them a different type of stability. I don't want to raise where somebody has to be a, another statistic, a black male drug dealer or something like that. I wanted them to, to have the success my daughter could have. I only have one child, my daughter. She's in college. All of them are grown. So I wanted them to have the same success. And that's what I could afford. I could afford two more people. That was it. Okay? I can't afford no more kids. Okay, Franklin and Ursula, don't send them kids my way. I'm not doing it. They tried it. 
you I, I already know I saw the plane ticket. They tried it. They tried to send them kids here. You better not. They're gonna have COVID. They're gonna be right outside. They be like, who them kids? I don't know. I don't know who them kids are. They in your yard. I go, <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> you better stop playing with me. <laughs> I don't know them kids. They don't look like me. We sending them your way. Hoo hoo. Oh, he talking about them kids. I'm about to shut this live down. Can you tell my location? Can y'all track my location by this live? Because I don't want my location tracked. Ownership and group economics. Frankly, I'm not doing your taxes. Name something simple. He, he, he always trying to get me to do some work in his house. Man, you about to hire me. I mean, trying to treat me like the maid. What the hell? I'm not, oh, ooh, is hell a cuss word? If it is, bleep it out from your brain. What I didn't say, for that same credit card that you use for your bills, you will never carry it in your pocket. You can never use that credit card on the economy. You cannot buy anything on the internet with because for some reason, when you use a credit card on the economy, they hack it some way, somehow. And all your bills are on that credit card. So that credit card will be cut up, slashed, hidden from yourself. You ever hid something from yourself or from a kid and you couldn't find it? That's the place where you need to put that credit card at, okay? Take a picture of it front and back, put it in a lockdown app or something like that or whatever else. You will never have that credit card on you in public. That way that will secure your credit history. Your credit history is based off the open years you've had credit, open, meaning that it can't be a closed account, open years. So what happened to me is I paid off my house. Next thing I know, it said I only had three years of credit history. I have over 20 years of credit history. All of those were closed accounts. I paid off all my debts. I didn't have any more debts, open debts. All I had was a credit card that got hacked three years ago. So the credit cards you put your bills on will not be a credit card that you can spend. Don't put it in your wallet. Don't put it in your car because if it gets stolen, you're back in the same situation. What happens when your credit card gets hacked? The credit card company shuts the credit card down. It goes into closed accounts. They give you a new credit card with a new credit card number. And guess what? Now that credit history of that open debt is at day one. That's what it is. Day one. So now your, your credit history for that credit card just started all over again. Go check it. See if I'm lying on credit karma. Yes, I hit it well and couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen, Colleen, I don't know what you hid, but it better not have been condoms. Cause, cause, cause Franklin hides the condoms from Ursula. You know what I'm talking about? Three kids. You know, I only remember one kid. If you have any more than one kid, I'm not going to know their names. I'm just gonna be like, look, that little boy, that little, tell that little boy, come here. How can we do group economic credit card program where we can grow our credit? There's different ways to interpret, especially when Franklin speaks. Okay. So I'm going to take it how I interpret it in America, okay? Now, when you got somebody with credit, first of all, you always need business credit. That's something people didn't understand. Your credit can be a 700 credit score, but if you don't have a business credit card and have a business line of credit open, you are like a newborn baby to the business world. You need a business line of credit card, period. I give all my stuff for free because I'm here to help everybody succeed. Okay, so, Let's go with the personal credit card. You got somebody, they, they're struggling. Okay, their credit score, they got messed up. Their parents done put utility bills in their name and everything else and done messed up their credit. Ask them for their social and add them to your credit card as an additional credit card holder. My two sons are added on as additional credit card holders. Now, some people freak out when I say that. Because they're like, I ain't giving them no credit card. And my, they messed up their credit. They about to mess up my credit. I did not tell you to give them a credit card. The credit cards were mailed to my house. I kept the credit cards. I only allowed them to get a credit card if they drove my car. Just in case something happened with my car, flat tire, gas, whatever it was. Other than that, the credit card stays with me. They never get the credit card ever in life. And I just help them with their credit score. My son had no credit. His parents didn't do anything with him. I added him to four of my credit cards. He's walking around with a 770 credit score. So my daughter, she was different because when I bought my second car, because she crashed my car. 
Rest in peace, my cavalier, my 97 Chevy. Rest in peace, my cavalier, my 97 Chevy. So when I bought a new car so her, she can, you know, go back and forth to school, I put her also on the auto loan. So she's walking around with an 805 credit score. And she hasn't done anything in life. Now, you can add them as an additional credit card holder and in their youth. You don't have to wait till they're 18. They won't, it won't, they're not able to pull a credit report till they're 18, but go ahead and put it on there and she get all the years. So even though she's 18, she got 15 years worth of credit history off of one of my credit cards, my USAA credit card. They get all the years, all the perks, all the benefits as if they're an old person with great credit. We're setting them up for success. We do not have to give them a credit card to have them go out there, you know, splurging and stuff like that. But we're setting them up for success and we're making them look better than these little white kids that's out here in these streets. I'm so sorry if somebody's half white on here. I don't like you, but uh, I love you. Okay. Can we have some financial tips for the UK, please? Oop, she ain't do that. Like I was born in, I was born in, in America. Here's one for everybody. Savings account. Don't put it in a regular bank. Put it in an online savings account. They're able to offer you better APY rates because there's no building or facility that they have to maintain. The only thing they have is a telephone operator. So in your local banks, if you have a savings account and you're only getting 0 0.04, 0 0.05% APY, look into online banking. Put your money there. Now, since COVID, it has crashed, but it crashed to 0.60% APY. If you're not getting 0.60 APY, then your money's not working for you. I'm telling you ways for your money to work for you. Look into online savings accounts and only put it in an account of a, of a company that you know about. If you never heard of them, don't, don't mess with them. Now, here they say Marcus, Marcus GS Bank is what I tell people in America or whatever else. Because Marcus GS Bank before the COVID was 2.25% APY. And you started with $0, zero. It's a savings account. This is not no, um, what do you call them things? CD. This is not a certificate of deposit. It's a savings account, except there is no ATM card. There's no debit card, a, a debit card. There's no credit card. There's no nothing. It is an online savings account. So you keep your bank keep your permanent bank and you link it to them, put your money in there and watch it grow. It's not the stock market, nothing. Yes, it is federal um, secure. FDIC, yes. Oh, put a thumbs up in the chat. You, here you go with them thumbs. Here you go with them thumbs. You know what I'm gonna tell you to do with that thumb, Franklin. Do you know how much stuff they gave me to read? They speak English and they told me, make it the English version. You speak English, what do you mean? You already speak English. Why I gotta make it into the English version if you speak English? That don't even make no sense. Uh, don't try it. Don't try and butter me up. Nope. I love you. Maybe not. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> love you too. Ursula, he told me he loved me first. So that wasn't me, okay? I'm not trying to have your husband. Well, whenever we recover as a world from this COVID, Marcus Shears Bank had was the best. Now they're equivalent to Ally Bank and Capital One 360. They're all 0.60%. But Capital One 360, let me tell you this, because somebody in America, Black, Black Up Apparel, was asking me about for kids. Capital One 360 has a kid's account that they earn the same rate of 0 0.60 in their savings account. Plus they give them a debit slash ATM card slash credit card. So it's really a debit card but there's a MasterCard number on it. So just in case your kids want to like buy something off the internet, this, that, and everything else, they have a credit card number to put into it. But if they don't have the money in their account, in their electronic checking account, they can't make the purchase. So it doesn't allow you to overdraft. And once my daughter turned 18, they asked her if they wanted to turn it into an adult account. And they asked her, if they wanted me still on the account as a joint holder, they gave her the option because she's an adult. Oh, my name, if people don't feel like Shy Pimp 74 
it's something appropriate to say my name is key k-e-e -E. that's what i go by that's all you're gonna get all right now shy pimp 74 i thought it was hilarious um shy s-h-y a shy pimp that's hilarious a shy pimp and 74 is the year i was born so people don't believe what, how old i am i'm 46 years old so shy i thought having a shy pimp was a play on words because I was born in Chicago. So, you know, in Chicago, they, they call it shy town. So I was like, at first I was going to put C H I pimp. And then I was like, Oh no, if I say S H Y, that's hilarious. A shy pimp. How, how can a pimp be shy? Key and K K E brat brat. Okay. No, see, there's too many UK people on here. America. I need y'all to stand up. Come on. They starting to use slang. I don't know if she says, kiss my aunt. I don't know what she talking about. America, stand up, damn it. I'm going to need y'all back. I need backup on here. Look, Franklin keep trying to get, he trying to get props off of his brother. His brother is about my age. So he think, well, if he's about my age and that's my brother, then we're the same age. That's not how time on earth works, Franklin. I'm not going to do this with you today. I did this with you the other day. It matters when you came out of the vagina, okay? Your days aren't counted until you come out on earth, all right? It's the, the law. It's the law, Franklin. No. How are you going to piggyback off of somebody else's years on earth? You can't do that. That's like saying, because I know my grandma, that and, and she's Franklin's age, that we the same thing. That is not. I didn't pick cotton. I wasn't a slave. I was born free, okay? I was not eating chitterlings. That is for slaves. I will smack it out your hand. If I find out you eat some chitterling, I'm gonna smack that out your hand and tell you, you are free. You are free. You don't have to eat that no more. I did a video about that. It's what, which ass are you? Just clear it out your mind that I said ass, 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 ass. Just clear that out your mind. But I did a video. I was like, if you can eat pig ass, chitterlings then you can eat human ass i'm sorry i don't want to hear a man to say i don't eat ass like yes you do if i see you eat chitterlings i'm gonna smack it out your hand i'm telling you that right now angelique what you talking about oh you because you put up the the disgusting i hope the disgusting was for the chitterlings because you don't know what my boo, boo smell like okay i got strawberry and cherry stuff over here y'all better go to a sex toy party and get some stuff and liven up your stuff the dysphoric channel you went to go get something you couldn't take your phone with you? You you don't have me streaming live on TV. You couldn't turn up the volume on your television set or on your phone or something? Let me find out you eating while I'm over here hungry. Look at my legs. Look at my little bird legs. You see them? Let me find out I'm hungry and the Spoiler Channel went to go get something to eat. Let me find out. Who said chick chick legs? Bird legs. Oh, y'all tried to clown. <laughs> House of Blooms, I can't see your face. Y'all trying to clown right now. Okay, I got you. I got you. It don't matter. I'm going to find out what y'all look like. Sis Ursula, what did I miss? You missed every... Don't tell... Ursula, don't tell them. I have a master playlist. That's what I was trying to put up, um, tell y'all on um, their live. I have a master playlist of all my videos. It has my society issues. It has my comedy. It has my tutorials. It has... Um, my financial list. I put it in a master playlist. This is so when you put it in a playlist, because have you ever noticed on YouTube, you go to watch one video and it right up underneath it, it says autoplay and has a blue thing to it. And it jumps to a video that it chose for you to watch. When you put it in a playlist and you pr press play in a playlist, it will stay in that youtube users playlist it won't go anywhere on the internet and make and make you watch a video that they think you should watch next so make a master playlist i'm talking to blackmail tv make a master playlist of all your videos a master playlist and call it that call it master playlist you know da, 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 da. this is the homework i have for everybody in each person's master playlist take an old cell phone a old a tablet a laptop and press play on their master playlist and give them the watch minutes that they need. If we're a hundred deep in here, that's a hundred people watching the 85,000 minute videos that Black Mel TV and them have that's so long. Okay? 
us. And we, we, we can do this while we're sleeping. We don't need to watch it. We don't need to listen to it. While you're asleep, press play. Press play. Go back and watch it later when you have time of stuff that you're interested in. But when you're going to sleep, press play on a master playlist. So I just gave Blackmail TV some homework. Now what you think, Frank Lynn? I should call you Lynn. <laughs> he said, I sm you can't have an Eddie Griffin voice because you have that British voice. And I don't know what it does. Who's talking long since just got one round robin each night. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, y'all wasn't doing nothing. Y'all off work in UK. Yes, 10 o'clock at night. No, okay. Love, smooches, kisses. Franklin, tell me how to end this. But, 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 love y'all. Let's do this again. Next time, let's rotate this. Let's give everybody some minutes. Make the master playlist. When you make the master playlist, drop it in Blackmail TV's folder. Drop it in my folder. Let us know as a community so we can put it out there. And we're going to play your master playlist and give all of us credit. We about to we about to rob YouTube of their money. That's what we about to do. Straight rob it. Okay? Love, 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 love. Blackmail TV, I expect you to do it first. I expect y'all to lead by example. Make a master playlist for us and let us play it. Because y'all got 3,000 hours it probably on there already. Love? 